Snakey. Oh, hey, Snakey. Guess what day it is, folks? We're going to the Too Slow Reptile Turtle and Turtles Club. It's, it's our local reptile show that you guys have been to before if you've been watching this channel for a while. If you haven't been to this channel before, welcome. And we're going to the reptile show today. I wasn't sure how the reptile show was going to get down. Like a couple weeks ago, I heard that the insurance hadn't been sent to the veterans hall yet or whatnot. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping this show is as good as it was last year, if not better. I'm not sure what's been going on with the advertising for it or not, but we'll find out when we get there. Uh, I'm not in charge of any of that stuff necessarily. And plus, I, <clears throat> but speaking of insurance, I am officially covered for general liability for the reptile shows that I'll be doing, and today I'm actually going to bring a lot of the animals that I'm planning to bring to the reptile shows. Should be like, should, 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 should. what's going on with my audio? Fixed. My point is, it should be a really good show today. Um, wait, no, that's not my point. The point is that I don't know how the show is going to go. My point is that I have insurance now. I'm covered for general liability, which is awesome. Bringing all the animals that I'm going to bring to the show. When I do educational shows, so like I got the frog, I got tortoise, turtle. Uh, you know, geckos and all kinds of other weird stuff that I usually I just bring snakes to the show. So I'm kind of excited to see what it's going to be like to have all kinds of different animals for the kids to check out. Plus, you know, I never wanted to grow up either. And for all intents and purposes, I haven't. So it feels really good to have like done something grown up like, like get insurance for liability. Because uh, there was a giraffe in the 80s that told me I wasn't going to have to grow up. And I, I never did. I'm just a big kid. And... We're going to see how that works out for raising children of my own someday, I guess. But I don't want to grow up. Oh, you know what else happened in the 80s? I used to sit around and think about how I really wanted to be making YouTube videos and reaching thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, potentially millions of people on the internet. That's what I used to dream about in the 80s, too. Okay, enough of this nostalgic stuff. Let's go to the show. Well, look who it is. <laughs> I see you last weekend. This, the San Jose show was like a month ago, dude. So I, I'm gonna steal Riley again from her dad so she can help me out the show. Yeah? How's that sound? Yeah? Uh, <laughs> Travis, sorry, dude. Or Riley, I need your help. Actually, I, I need Riley's help. Olivia, our Australian olive python. She's awesome. I've had a love affair for this species for so long and I finally got them. So how do you uh, how do you come up with a name like Olivia for an olive python? <laughs> uh, yeah, this one's Olivia, and then uh, um, the male is uh, Oliver Queen. Uh, Olivia and arrow. Oliver for olive python. I don't get it. <laughs> That's a little preview of our crew. I actually brought. Few more animals than that, but we'll, we'll see eventually once the kids get into the building. I'm gonna give you guys a quick one wheel, one wheel tour of the show. I'm gonna run. Oh, the balloon man is ready. Hey, looking forward to it. Ooh, I love your ride up there. Thanks. Lola. Hi, Brian. Hi. Zoom in, dear. Zoom in always has an awesome booth. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It helps me be more cinematic. Like magic. Until I eat it. <laughs> the Zoom Ed crew is starting out the show right. Yeah, she's yeah, she is. She had a nice big rabbit about a week and a half ago or so. She, but I, she let it go last night, so that's a nice thing. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Look at you. You're so cute. Look what I got. Look what I got. Oh, a baby snake? It's a children's python. Oh. Isn't he cute? He's cute. I like the little ones like this. Oh, it's adorable. Isn't he cute? Never seen a baby snake. Brian, this is Karen Berry. She's Hi, Karen. Hi. So, fun fact, that children's python was actually acquired by myself right here in this exact spot really right here Haley Haley from the Pearl Lab that, that snake was gonna be uh, brain surgery uh, <gasps> no experimentation way. yeah but uh, she's like well I don't want any to go to brain surgery so as many she, she could find homes for but it was right here literally like right 
right there is the first place that I met that Children's Python. So. Wow, he's cute. Well, the show has officially started, so I guess we'll see how many kiddos we get through the door. There's a kiddo. Came to visit us. It's a little tiny tea. It's a little tiny tea. It's a little That's tiny tea. She comes to play with indigo snakes. She play with indigo snakes. She's a little tiny tea. She's used that, 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 no, 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 tea. Yeah, it's probably one of my favorite teas. Is it? Oh, yeah. Happy today with your snakes. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this girl has to hold snakes, there's no way around it. Can we put it back inside, T? I have a lot. Can we put it back inside? No? <laughs> hey, Eli. What? What do you know? I know. Deer. Deer? Yeah. What about deer? That they have ranches and that that's all I know. What the fuck did you get? What is this? Hey Noah. What? <laughs> what do you know? I know. Megalodon. Oh, what about Megalodon? That it was the biggest shark known that ever lived. And people believe it could still be alive. Do, 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 do. Down in the Mariana Trench. Oh, and he loves the taste of camera. What do you guys think? I cool. love snakes. I came here last Hi. year and I held a banana python. Oh yeah, that must have been my banana python. So it's definitely been a little bit of a slower show than last year, which is nice because then we get to have more one-on-one -on -one reactions with the re reactions, more one-on-one -on -one interactions with the people and the snakes and kids. And what do you guys think about this? Pretty cool. Dude, this yeah, is really cool. cool. I've like never held a snake this big. Yeah, last year. Oh. Lots of balloons popping today. Last year, a snake peed on me. You want the snake to pee on you? No, I don't. Are you sure? Last year, it peed on her. A banana python. Oh, did Coming. she pee on you last year? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. That's getting too close. That's too close. Good job. Well done. So I kind of took a break from the camera for a little bit just so we could just focus on letting the kids hold snakes and whatnot. But she's been holding this snake on her hand for like the last hour. The carpet python. She's been coming for a couple years now, so I decided to let her hold a 
carpet python and even let him hold the scrub python. We don't just let anybody hold these snakes. We wait until they've been here for a couple of years and we feel they're confident. And he said he wanted to get bit. He was like, I want to get bit. So yeah. I was like, all right, well, this is the best chance right here. But to our, our snake's credit, not bit, not bit at all. I like how it's so jumpy. Oh, you, you like the jumpiness? Yeah. I think cool. it's going to stay on for like till the end of this. What's that? I think it's going to stay on till the end of this because it's been on for like an hour. So I'm not surprised if it stays on until the end of this. I got to give a big thank you to Melanie and Orion here. They stayed after the show, helped me clean. Look, everybody's gone. Everybody's gone. Well, m mom had to stick around too. So we, we got to thank mom as well. But um, Mostly not her. Mo no, I think so. yeah, if it wasn't for it. mom, we wouldn't have you guys, right? Probably not. Yeah, Probably true. not. Probably not. Probably so not. Remember every day thanks, to thank mom. your hey, they, yeah, exactly. Thanks, mom. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> We're going to go home. We're going to debrief. Debrief with the bufo, hoofo, lufo, lufo, bufo, bufo, froggy, loggy, hog. I feel like this guy didn't really get the action that he deserved at the show, or the attention, I mean. Just because I didn't want to have people putting on hand sanitizer, and then, you know, handling the frog, their skin is so porous, so I, that just didn't seem like a good idea, but I really wanted people to see him, so I know a lot of you guys are watching this video from the show, and I wanted you guys to be able to see this guy in a little closer detail than... Oh, dang, son. Got to be quick and on deck with these guys. Ooh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to put him away before he kills himself. <laughs> but a little update on this guy. He has been eating um, dubia roaches. I know last time we did the video, he hadn't been eating yet for me. He still doesn't like the pink pinkies, but he's eating the dubia. Okay, you're going away. Oh, I guess that was enough show for him. Mm, these things from Freedom Breeder, awesome for transporting the animals. If you guys haven't checked these things out and you transport animals, whether it's rodents or snakes or anything that would fit in a bin this size, the ventilation, and they look clean, the professional, and they're just, they've been really good for transporting the animals to shows. I'm really glad that I have those things to transport animals to the education or social media doing going forward. So, show's done. It was definitely less people than we had last year, which actually worked out pretty well because it wasn't as crazy and hectic at the booth. Luckily those two, uh, Melanie and Orion, did come by and end up helping me out, which was a great help. But even last year I had help, and it was still like kind of hectic because of the number of people through the door. It was just a little crowded, and even today, like some of the animals, when I put them back, it seemed like they were like, all right, dude, what did you just do to me? And they were crawling in their hives, a little extra vigor this afternoon, which I feel a little bad for them, but you, you guys did a great job stoking out the little kitties on all of your awesomeness. So that was definitely worth it. I love that show. I wish it kind of happened more than once a year. If any of you guys are ever down here and want to come to that show or want to travel down to the show, it's a smaller show. We don't do sales there. It's just teaching the kids about the animals and getting them stoked on the animals, which is really cool. And there's just kind of a different vibe there than any of the shows that I go to. Speaking of which, next weekend coming up here uh this this coming weekend i'm going to be up the canadian reptile breeders expo uh grant flew me out and it was going to be awesome uh i'm looking forward to seeing a lot of you guys there one last little thing i'd like to talk about too before we get out of here is mushy <laughs> my little girl dude she she's becoming a real snake lover she just she can't get enough of the snakes like luckily she was able to be encouraged to share that little pie that she was holding with other people, you know, so it wasn't just all her, but she's just so into it. Like, as soon as she sees a snake, all she wants can think about it, like, she, she starts making this motion, like, I, I want the snake on my shoulders. And once she has it there, she just seems like she's just a little princess holding it. And that snake's name is Princess, too. And just holding it and hanging out with it. And if you talk about taking it away, you make like you're going to take it away. She just, it's going to be one of the harder things you try to do is take away a snake from that girl. So it kind of makes me proud as a father to see that and just happy that it's that it's she's so <laughs> enthralled with the snakes man um yep 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 so yeah next video is gonna be i don't know what we haven't got there yet but when we do i'm sure it'll be something awesome probably more awesome than our boring anxiety talk that the same we had <laughs> we do whatever man sometimes you guys like it sometimes you don't it's all good uh aloha B. Oh, I'm looking at myself over there. Yes. It's, like, it's like black. I know. I know. It's weird.
Do you want to talk about stuff or are we just going to sit here and just be super weird and awkward? 